Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's topic is Smith chart that is part 2. I have already created one video that is part 1 of Smith chart. If you haven't watched that part, do watch that part first because all the basic things are covered in that part. Then only start watching this part. So let us solve one numerical using the Smith chart. The question is a lossless 100 ohm transmission line. The word lossless and this value indicates it is the value of characteristic impedance denoted by Z0. So lossless 100 ohm transmission line means it is the value of characteristic impedance Z0 is terminated in an impedance whose value is given as 50 plus Z60. This given value is the value of impedance. Impedance is denoted by Z. It is known as load impedance denoted by ZL. Using Smith chart, calculate first part VSWR. VSWR stands for voltage wave standing ratio. Second part reflection coefficient. Now do remember, in case of reflection coefficient, there are two parts. Reflection coefficient is denoted by K. First part is magnitude of reflection coefficient, that is mod of K, and angle of reflection coefficient, that is theta. So in second part, we need to calculate mod K, magnitude of reflection coefficient, and angle of reflection coefficient. Third, impedance of 0.35 lambda. Lambda is the wavelength from the load. Now, do remember some basic things. In case of transmission line, at one end, we have a generator which generates the signal. These signals are transmitted through the transmission line. At the another end, at the receiver end, we have the load terminal. It is mentioned that to calculate the impedance of 0.35 lambda from the load, from the load means towards the generator. This word is very, very important. From the word means towards the generator. So let, let us start solving the numerical. First step is you need to calculate the normalized impedance in all sums. First step is to calculate the normalized impedance. It is denoted by Zn. Formula is ZL upon Z0. We have both the values. ZL is 50 plus J60 divided by Z0 100. Now, you don't have to convert this from rectangular to polar form, then do the calculation, again convert it into rectangular form. You don't have to do this lengthy calculations. Using one step, you can perform these calculations if you know how to perform the complex valued calculations on the calculator. If you don't know, I have already created the video related to this. I will provide the link in the description box. Presently, we will perform this calculation 50 plus J60 upon 100. The answer will be 0.5 plus J.6. This is the value of normalized impedance. Jaren said since it is impedance, its unit is ohm. Now let us move to the Smith chart to complete the remaining calculations. Now the calculated value of Zn normalized impedance is 0 0.5 plus J.6. This real part 0 0.5 represents value of R. Whereas this 0.6, the part which is getting multiplied with J represents value of imaginary part that is denoted by X. Recall the things, if in between plus sign is there, we have to consider the upper portion of Smith chart. If there would have been minus sign, we would have considered the lower portion. Now I will show this point on the Smith chart. This is the Smith chart. As we discussed earlier, first mark this horizontal line, this horizontal line, I am talking about it is taken as a reference wherever on this horizontal line the point 1.0 is mentioned this point I am talking about it is mentioned 1.0 mark this point as O this is known as origin of a Smith chart so the scale on the horizontal line where 1.0 reading is marked is referred as origin point denoted by O now as per our calculation, we have the value 0.5 plus J.6. That means R is 0.5. First, let us mark the value R equals to 0.5. To mark the value of R, consider full circle in simplified language. R is the value which is written on, the, on this horizontal line. So check the value 0 0.5. 0 0.5 value is here. So I am talking about this line this arc i will show it with another color i am talking about this line this is the circle whose value is 0.5 this is the value of r second value plus sign is there so i have to consider the portion above this horizontal line 
plus j point six about the values of j. This point six value is known as value of x. To locate the value of x, consider this part, this innermost circle, this part. So all the readings are written over here. For example, this reading is two point zero one point eight. Likewise, go on reducing it. I want value point six. So point six is somewhere here. This is the value point six. I'm talking about this innermost circle. Scale on the innermost circle, which represents value of x. Now I will highlight this point. So it is point six. So I'm considering this arc like this. I will highlight this arc. This arc is like this. This is the complete arc for which value is point six. Consider the point of intersection. This is the point of intersection of two curves, which is r is equals to point five and x is equals to point six. Denote this as point A. So value of point A is point five plus j point six. Now next step is take O as a center. Take O A distance and mark a circle like this so i am taking o as a center radius is oa i am marking the circle like this so this is the circle which is known as the swr circle i will highlight this circle like this this is the circle which i have drawn by taking O as a center and O A as a radius. Now, refer this origin point at the right hand side of circle. At the right hand side of circle, wherever this circle crosses horizontal point, mark that reading. This reading in this case is two point nine. Because it is just before the reading of three, so it is two point nine. This gives the value of V S W R. So V S W R is the value which is on the on the circle, and it is the point where the circle crosses this horizontal line. This point must be at the right hand side of the circle, not this point. This point is at the left hand side of circle. V S W R is the point at the right hand side of circle. Whose reading on the horizontal scale is 2.9. This gives the value of V S W R. Now, join this O A point. Extend this O A point towards the outer rim, like this. This. I will mark this line as T1. So this line is actually 0 to A A to T1. So this line is O A T one. Now what I need to do, I will have to check the value of angle of reflection coefficient, which is the reading for angle of reflection coefficient. One second, I will brush up the things. The the first reading, this reading I am talking about. I will highlight this portion. This reading is wavelength towards generator. Second reading below that, whatever reading we have, this reading. Is wavelength towards load. Third reading. If I am talking about the third reading, this reading, which I have highlighted by the pink color, is the wavelength. Sorry, it is the angle of reflection coefficient. Now observe this value carefully. This value is hundred. This is hundred and ten. There are five parts in between. So this value. That is the point of intersection. Value at the point of intersection is one zero eight. This reading is one zero eight. This is the angle of reflection which is denoted by theta. So theta is one zero eight degrees. We have completed. I'm I'm referring the same graph. I have taken the different uh, Smith chart. Readings are same. This is the origin point. This is A point. This is point D, and this is T one line. Where is point D? This point D I have marked on this scale, which is the scale for angle of reflection coefficient. This represents point D, whose value just now we discussed. That is theta is equals to one zero eight degrees. Now the next part is 
we have to calculate reflection coefficient. The formula to calculate reflection coefficient is VSWR minus 1 upon VSWR plus 1. This is the theoretical formula. In the exam, first you need to calculate the theoretical value. In the first part, we have calculated VSWR. Value of VSWR is 2.9. So simply I will put the values 2.9 minus 1 upon 2.9 plus 1. This answer is 0.48. This is the theoretical calculation. I need to prove that the same answer I will get from the Smith chart. The formula for Smith chart is length OA divided by length OD. Observe this diagram. This point is origin O. This is point A. Measure the length OA. This length is 3.9. Then measure the length OD. This you need to measure using, using the scale. So this reading is 3.9. And then reading of OD. This reading of OD is 8.3. So 3.9 upon 8.3. That is length OA upon length OD. Answer is again 0.48. As I said, the theoretical answer must match with the answer that you are calculating on the Smith chart. Next step is what we have to do. Observe this line OAT1. Observe the last scale. Last scale is the scale for wavelength. This line cuts the wavelength scale. I am talking about this last scale. This point I am talking about. So it cuts the wavelength scale at the value 0 0.10. This gives the value of lambda which is 0 0.10. In the question given distance from load is 0.35 lambda this is the given distance from the load in the question which is 0.35 lambda i have got the point of o a t1 line which cuts the wavelength scale at the value lambda is equals to 0 0.10 i have to move the distance 0.35 lambda now take 0 0.10 as a starting point. That means I have to cover the distance 0.35 lambda plus 0 0.10 lambda which is equals to 0 0.45 lambda. Very simple trick. Whatever distance is given in the question, keep it as it is. Observe that this line OT1 intersects at which value of wavelength scale. Put that value over here. It is 0 0.10 value. Add the two values. Reading is 0.45 lambda. Now mark this wavelength scale on the Smith chart. So on the Smith chart, I am referring the outermost scale. So mark the reading. It is 0.45 lambda. That is this point where I have to mark this line. First, I will mark this reading 0.45 lambda. I'm talking about this point. It is the reading on the outermost rim 0.45 lambda. Now join this point O to this 0.45 lambda. Mark this point, mark this uh, terminal as T2. This T2 gives me reading of 0.45 lambda. Now this line, whatever I have drawn from O to 0.45 lambda, cuts VSWR circle, this is the VSWR circle, cuts VSWR circle at point C. Now the final step is I have to take readings of point C. How to take the readings? Very simple like the previous case. Every reading has two parts, reading of X and uh, reading of R and reading of X. Reading of R means reading of full circle. So I am considering this point C, I need to take the reading of full circle. So full circle means consider the circle which is passing through this point. This horizontal line I will have to refer to obtain the readings of R. So reading of R from this value we can write it as this point which is 0.35. I am talking about the readings on the horizontal line. I will use another color so that things will be more clear to you. This point I am talking about. This reading is 0 0.35 which is the reading of R. I have referred this complete circle. Now for X, consider the arc, reading of the arc which is passing through this line. Now see, I am talking about this point C. I have to check which arc is passing through this point C. 
so this arc is like this this one this arc reading of this arc must be measured on this line observe the readings for this line here we have 0.2 then this reading is 0.3 so this reading is 0 0.29 so this reading is 0.29 this is the reading of x now since this point is below the horizontal line this point c is below the horizontal line so i will write the answer of this point as 0.35 minus j point 29 so this is the value of point c what i have to do i am calculating impedance this is the value of impedance but it is not the final answer this value must be multiplied with the value of z0 so final input impedance is z in is equals to this value i am writing it as it is 0.35 minus j.29 into z0 value of z0 is 100 which is given in the question z0 is characteristic impedance so final answer of input impedance is 35 minus j29 since it is impedance unit is ohm dear students that's it for today's uh, session we have solved one numerical which contains uh, the different variations like vswr reflection coefficient impedance and so on in the next part we will cover different types of numericals related to smith chart thank you thanks for watching this video